Hi, no, no, let's just start again. Hi, <laughs> my name is Harry Moser. I'm the founder and president of the Reshoring Initiative. So I was born in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is right across the river from New York City. I uh, grew up there, uh, eventually went to MIT, engineering degrees, University of Chicago for an MBA, and worked in manufacturing. So I've been in manufacturing for about 47 years, 48 years. My hometown of Elizabeth, New Jersey, the biggest company in town was Singer Sewing Machine. Which in its day, the factory there was the largest in the world. My grandfather and father worked there. I worked there summers. And I drove past uh, five years ago and everything was gone. The entire production had moved outside the US. And I, you know, I pulled over and I cried then for what we had lost. And I committed that I would be the guy that would bring it back. Every manufacturing operation in the U.S. uses minerals, either as the, the material that they're producing or the tools that are used to produce the material. U.S. is the second largest manufacturing uh, economy in the world, but in mining we're number seven. And we used to be number one back in 1990 in mining, and that's fallen to seventh, especially far behind China, which is our number one industrial competitor. U.S. manufacturing has shown that reshoring is possible. We're bringing jobs back. Production of more minerals in the U.S. is possible. We have $6 trillion worth of reserves. Nevertheless, the number of minerals on which we're 100% reliant on imports has gone from eight in 1995 to 19 today. And now 91% of executives are concerned about the risks to their extended supply chains. A major reason we've fallen behind in mining is because of the policies and regulations that keep us from being a competitive mining country. My goal is to balance the trade deficit, to bring back 500 to $600 billion a year worth of manufacturing. That will increase U.S. manufacturing by about 30%, which will require about 30% more minerals. It's essential that we solve the mineral problem while we're solving the reshoring problem. 